Ladies and gentlemen, 64 years ago, on October 4th, 1957, Sputnik 1 was launched and the space age officially began. And up to the minute update, today, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp are down. Is it related to the whistleblower suit thingy that came out the other day? I don't know. But what I do know is that I love Dolly Parton. And I do know that I went for a walk today and I felt lucky, blessed, and grateful to God, Jesus Christ, Astro Fight Club, and everybody cool out there. And my family and my friends and even my haters who helped make me awesome. What was it talking about? Oh yeah, I'm your planetary defense commander, Star Lord New Thor 7. And every single month my life is like a game show. I do a fundraiser so I can keep my YouTube channel up and running Thor News. And hey, my nine-year anniversary will be November 23rd. If you'd like to make a contribution or donation, it would be greatly appreciated. Hey, guess what? At spaceweather.com, they're talking about how Solar Cycle 25 continues to overperform. Sunspot counts for September 2021 were the highest in more than five years, and for the 11th month in a row, the sunspot number has exceeded uh, the official forecast by NOAA and NASA. And I'm pretty sure it succeeded the grand solar minimum by double of the NASA and NOAA because the GSM was under this one. So yeah, it looks like this is going to be a pretty strong solar cycle. So that is great news. That means things will probably improve and spring 2022 might be great. But yeah, things are fucked up and crazy, and we're leading up to the fifth and final Pluto Square Eris that started March 2020, and it's been a horrible Hades shit show since then. Katia Portsikansky in Mexico, nearly 100,000 people are missing. Nearly 100,000 people have disappeared in Mexico. Their families now search for clues among the dead as the pandemic and the chaos and mild lawlessness that has come with the last two years has just ripped through us in many ways. And the future we live in now is so crazy that, yeah, there's always a chance that our world leaders could throw their dicks in the dirt and start World War III. Laura Seligman, Taiwan, reported the largest ever incursion by China's Air Force into its air defense zone on Monday with 52 aircraft. This is the fourth straight day the Taiwanese Air Force had to scramble their jets. So, yeah, it is definitely feeling super doomy. But we knew that it would be getting doomy and it will be continue to get doomier up to the 9th of Eris. I'm sorry, the 9th of October. And so... I don't know, man. Play defense. Make good choices. Be grateful for all that we have. I'm grateful I still have an apartment, electricity, cigarettes. Smoke them if you got them. Hey, before the OC oil spill, platform owner faced bankruptcy and history of regulatory problems. Yeah, that one dummy Shell Corporation oil rig that busted and started spilling stuff straight into the Huntington Beach coast. Yeah, they declared bankruptcy. And everybody always, like, argues over capitalism, communism, socialism. And it's like we live in a corporate oligarchy, top-down weird thingy. I don't know, man. It's more chaotic than I think people will give it credit for. But progress continues. All-female guard change makes history at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. So hope still lives. And technically, we are going to be on Asteroid Fight Club Super Red Alert until March of 2022 so expect a lot of you know kind of capitalism and socialism and communism all their parts that don't really work in a space age to kind of start crumbling crashing right before our eyes you know like supply chains and possibly markets and stuff and being in retrograde city with Uranus, Eris, Neptune, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, Chiron and Mercury retrograde relative to Earth that means in the sky, we see the planets going backwards, although they're continuing to go forwards or in their flowery loop thingy they do. 
but to our perspective, they're going backwards. Um, but we're in retrograde city now. Pluto will go direct on the 5th, so expect some weird shit to go down if it isn't already now. Last year, when Pluto went direct, the very day they announced Trump, our president, got the coronavirus, well, that was just a weird vibe. And, um, and then the Eris Pluto square is on the 9th. You get a new moon on the 6th. You got Saturn going direct on the 10th. Um, and then Mercury and Jupiter going direct on the 18th. So it's going to be a really wild and crazy filled with energy month. And although it, it's not very spooky, though, it doesn't seem. Every once in a while, lots of people on Twitter have a good time. Remember when they had that big blue power explosion thingy in New York at the end of 2019? That was kind of fun on Twitter, where everybody thought aliens were invading. Well, today, Facebook is down, and Twitter seems to be making a joke out of it, yo. And it's like different personalities go to different social media. I am a YouTube and Twitter guy. But some other people use Instagram and Facebook and WhatsApp and, I don't know, like Reddit and 4chan. But I pretty much just use Twitter and um, YouTube mainly. Hey, here's something I don't get to say much. South California weather force. Severe thunderstorms set to rock Southern California this evening overnight into Tuesday morning. Severe thunderstorm watch issued. Yep. Daniel Swain showing us late AM satellite view shows high clouds developing and moving north northwestward ahead of a cutoff low that could bring some scattered thunderstorms to much of Southern California this evening. And a large pyrocumulonimbus cloud has erupted atop the KMP complex in Southern Sierra. So California will be getting thunderstorms on the south half and wildfires and smoke in the north half. Iowa DNR says, hey, Facebook is down. Go outside, find a state park here. I was already outside walking when um Facebook went down. You can see here, I walked more than four miles a day, four days in a row. So I'm starting to get back at it. I'm looking to lose 50 pounds within seven months because I'm going to be ready to party and have a good time this spring. Jack, wait, Chick Jacobs, the dude, about half of the tweets I've seen in the past hour with Facebook, Instagram, etc. down. I got nowhere else to go. <laughs> All right. Um, Kara Lee is vaxxed. So do we think Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp being down is related to the whistleblower confirming how crooked Facebook is? Question mark. Googly eyes. Miles grab Facebook. They deserve a seated... The United Nations, Amazon and Facebook do. Well, I know and everybody's mad at uh, Bezos for lots of reasons. One of them being he has his own space program, and now he's taking out Captain Kirk to space. I know it's weird. People really hate Bezos, but like a lot of people, super love Elon. So I guess people are picky about their space faring billionaires. I guess, but it's America, so you're free to be. As your planetary defense commander, I want everybody to get along, and I do want world peace. Dominic Chu, social media, be like, this is Thunderdome. I, I, like I said, if I had to pick, yeah, I like Twitter over Facebook. Thanks. I agree with Stakeham. Pipe line under the ocean. Take the first letter of each of those words, and it spells Pluto. So, no, I'm not surprised that oil prices arise to their highest level in seven years after OPEC and its allies declined to accelerate plans to increase crude production. So yeah, you know, it's very Eris and Pluto-y, man. Very Eris and Pluto-y. You know how, like, um, Bezos and Elon are in, like, a feud? Stephanie Rule pointing out, wow, Jack, the head of Twitter, throwing shade. Jack asking how much to buy the Twitter domain name. Apparently someone nuked the DNS A and AAA records for Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. I'm, I, my brain does not think in coding. My brain thinks in storyboards, so I, I'm not a good coder. I'm not super technical, man. But yeah, apparently, who his record is listing Facebook for sale. I don't know if that's true. Maybe it is. This, you know, we live in strange days, man. We're definitely on the lookout for some Wanda chaos weather magic happening around the 9th through the 23rd. 
we will continue to watch. Speaking of magic, technically all forms of technology are a form of magic, man. Yeah. You don't have to agree, though. A study finds photosynthesis in Venus's clouds could support life. Again, General C.Q. Brown, Jr., thanking the real Air Force Office of Special Investigations and the critical role and hard work they did in Operation Allies Refuge, processing and screening more than 95,000 refugees that we got out of there. Well done. Not well done is the whole oil rig situation off the coast. Oil is expected to continue to wash up on shore for days. Limited liabilities. Corporations, it's, it's a weird game, man. Yeah, not surprised to have a major oil disaster. At the same time, oil prices are skyrocketing. Uh, the global economy is weird, man. Every day that we prevented civilization from collapsing and we keep it together is a miracle. But if you do want to freak out and think the world is definitely going to end soon, well, the volcanoes are pretty, like, making it feel like we're in a natural disaster movie. The La Palma, Spanish African Canary Islands volcano has just been putting on a nonstop show since the middle of, what month are we in? September. Sorry, my brain is fried and I'm a little punch drunk because... The coronavirus ripped through Texas in August and September. I just had a one minute. My neighbor stopped me on my walk to let me know that his friend got the coronavirus and died. And so that means two people I know, their friends or family, have died of the coronavirus in the last week. And so it is weird. It's one thing to have, like, everybody saying, oh, it's a, it's a hoax or it's no worse than the flu. But now we're entering this zone where, like, people who either are having long COVID or lost a loved one within the last week or two or a couple months here in Texas are having, you know, a lot of people argue with you that a it was no big deal or it was no worse than the flu, which is just, it's so crazy, man. It is so crazy. America needs to calm down and learn how to be cool again. Eruption on Mount Etna, Sicily gives the illusion of a Phoenix in the sky. That's why it's, that's what nihilism is now, man. It's, I don't know. It's just nihilists don't believe in anything. You know, I don't know. I believe in God and I believe in good people on earth. So I'm not a nihilist. And then on top of all the weird news, you've got like all the cryptocurrency Bitcoin people saying, hey, don't worry about all the volcanoes. We're going to use all that energy to mine more Bitcoin and crypto. I'm like, what? Yeah, it is a mad, mad, mad world. And like I said, expect for this next week to be crazy. And so I'm asking you to stay cool. And technically, I am asking if you think I deserve it. Pretty please send in a contribution or donation because I do my best as planetary defense commander. And I think I've done a good job. Tesla's killing it again. Remember, March 2020 is when they like went from, was it like 120 to like 800? Um, That was weird. With the volcanoes, man. Freaking volcanoes. I don't know. I have this weird feeling that Elon may get cooler now that he's single again. But I, I sometimes I can be an over-optimist. Guess which volcano this is? This is Papacatepal in Mexico. Yep. It, too, is erupting regularly. I'm already at 14 minutes. Yeah, get out. Go for a walk. Um, and later tonight, Jupiter, Saturn, and Venus will be up in the sky. I recommend going to see them. This is the sun, and that looks like a coronal mass ejection. That happened on the... This is from the second and the third. Today is the fourth, and may the fourth be with you. Okie dokie. I should wrap this one up. Because uh, I'm in fundraiser crunch time. I should make them shorter. So that way I can put up multiples. There's so much happening right now. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to say have a great weekend. But then I realized, oh yeah, it's Monday. Thor News October. Fundraiser crunch time. 
If you'd like to donate, contribute to keep the war news up and running, I got a snail mail, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and only $1,466 left to raise my $1,777 normal monthly goal. And you guys have been awesome, super duper, and incredible to me. And so I will do my best to do a fantastic and wonderful job this month and hopefully for the rest of the year. But thank you very much to Greg, Courtney, Chris, Barbara, Red, Angel, Mist, David, Don, Max, KJ, Alexis, Ann, Arnica, Glenda, Barbara, Lauren, Brian, Marlita, Dan, Light Soul, Susan, Wizard of Oz, and Mike. May everybody have a great day. All right. Yeah. And hey, if you don't use Twitter much or you can have my, <coughs> my name on Twitter is the at symbol and then new Thor. There you go. And Twitter's the best place for like up to the minute. If a volcano erupts, you hear about it on Twitter first. If anything really happens, it always gets to Twitter faster than almost anywhere else out there. That's why I use it. Okay. God bless everyone. Stay cool and Merry Christmas.